Australia's helicopter landscape is undergoing a transformative phase, with the Leonardo AW-139 emerging as a cornerstone of both civilian and military aviation. Renowned for its versatility, advanced avionics, and robust performance in challenging environments, the AW-139 has become the helicopter of choice for emergency medical services, search and rescue, law enforcement, and military support roles. As of July 2025, Australia's AW-139 fleet is expanding rapidly, with over 60 units now in service across various operators, driven by new acquisitions, long-term contracts, and the need to fill capability gaps left by the retirement of older platforms like the MRH-90 Taipan. The AW-139's prominence in Australia stems from its ability to operate across diverse missions, from aeromedical evacuations in remote outback regions to offshore transport and military training. One of the most significant developments in 2025 comes from LifeLight, a leading provider of aeromedical and rescue services in Queensland. In March 2025, LifeLight announced an order for four additional AW-139 helicopters, building on a 2024 order for three more AW-139s by LifeLight and two by its joint venture partner, Starflight Australia. By the end of 2027, the combined LifeLight Starflight fleet is projected to reach 20 AW-139s, forming one of Australia's largest rotary wing fleets for civilian emergency services. These helicopters are equipped with cutting-edge technology, including four-axis autopilots, night vision goggle compatibility, infrared cameras, and patient care systems tailored for critical care transport. LifeLight's investment is underpinned by a $1.25 billion 10-year service agreement with Queensland Health, ensuring sustained delivery of aeromedical services across the state. The AW-139's ability to navigate Queensland's vast and rugged terrain, coupled with its five-plus-hour endurance, makes it ideal for reaching remote communities quickly and efficiently. Babcock Australasia, another key player, has also bolstered its AB-139 fleet to meet growing demand for EMS and SAR missions. In 2023, Babcock ordered two AW-139s, which were delivered in 2024, bringing its total fleet to nine. These helicopters, customized locally with advanced avionics like TCAS-2, traffic collision avoidance system, and powerful searchlights, support clients such as Air Ambulance Victoria and Rat Cap Rescue. The AW-139's enhanced range and speed allow Babcock to cover vast distances, providing critical care transport and rescue services in Victoria and Queensland. The helicopter's modular cabin design enables rapid reconfiguration for inter-hospital transfers or disaster response, ensuring flexibility in high-pressure scenarios. Babcock's focus on localized maintenance, repair, and overhaul services, supported by Leonardo Helicopters, ensures high operational readiness, a critical factor in the AW-139's widespread adoption. In central Queensland, RASU CQ Rescue has further expanded the AW-139's footprint with two helicopters ordered in 2023 and delivered in 2024. Operating out of Mackay, these AW-139s offer a 30% increase in mission speed and double the range of previous models, enabling faster response times for EMS and SAR missions. Equipped with advanced night vision systems and weather radar, they are designed for day and night operations in challenging conditions, such as tropical storms or remote coastal rescues. The addition of these helicopters strengthens CQ Rescue's ability to serve regional communities, particularly in mining and agricultural areas where access to medical facilities is limited. The AW-139's reliability and performance have made it a trusted asset for operators like CQ Rescue, which prioritize patient outcomes and operational efficiency. Western Australia's Emergency Rescue Helicopter Service, ERHS, operated by CHC Australia, has also embraced the AW-139 to modernize its fleet. In 2022, CHC ordered three AW-139s, delivered in 2023, 
to enhance EMS, SAR, and interhospital transport capabilities from bases in Jandicott and Bunbury. These helicopters feature specialized equipment, including wire cutters and rescue hoists, to navigate Western Australia's expansive and often hazardous terrain. With these additions, CHC now operates 10 AW-139s, contributing significantly to Australia's national fleet. The AW-139's ability to perform in extreme conditions, such as high winds and low visibility, has made it a critical asset for ERHS, which serves both urban and remote communities. CHC's investment reflects a broader trend of operators upgrading to the AW-139 to meet increasing demand for reliable, high-performance helicopters. The Australian Defence Force has also turned to the AW-139 to address capability gaps following the controversial retirement of the MRH-90 Taipan fleet in 2023, prompted by maintenance challenges and fatal incidents, including a crash off the Queensland coast. Toll Helicopters, a key ADF contractor, expanded its AW-139 fleet with two additional units in 2023, bringing its total to 12. These helicopters, leased from Helicorp and bearing civilian registration with military markings, support the ADF's 5th Aviation Regiment in Townsville and 1st Aviation Regiment in Darwin. They are used for pilot training, crash response, and disaster relief under programs like the Army Commercial Helicopter Program and Plan Corella. Equipped with searchlights, hoists, and provisions for electro-optical infrared systems, the AW-139s provide a versatile interim solution while the ADF transitions to the UH-60M Black Hawk, with deliveries ongoing through 2029. The AW-139's role in military support underscores its adaptability bridging the gap between civilian and defense applications. The AW-139's success in Australia is further supported by Leonardo Helicopters' robust MRO network, which ensures high availability and cost-effective maintenance. With over 1,250 AW-139s operating globally and 3.6 million flight hours logged, the helicopter's reliability is well established. In Australia, its fleet of over 60 units serves a wide range of roles, from offshore energy transport to law enforcement and government missions. The AW-139's advanced avionics, including synthetic vision and terrain awareness systems, enhance safety in low visibility conditions, while its spacious cabin and modular design allow operators to tailor configurations for specific missions. These features have made the AW-139 a preferred choice for operators facing Australia's unique operational challenges, from tropical cyclones to desert heat. Despite its successes, the AW-139's expansion occurs against the backdrop of broader challenges in Australian helicopter aviation. The MRH-90 Taipan's retirement highlighted issues with military procurement and maintenance, while recent safety incidents, such as the 2023 Gold Coast collision and a 2024 Cairns Hotel crash, have underscored the need for stringent safety protocols. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau has emphasized robust communication and risk management, lessons that operators like LifeFlight, Babcock, and CHC are applying to their AW139 operations. As the fleet grows, Maintaining high safety standards will be critical to sustaining public and government confidence.